Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is me, Tamed. Hope you guys are doing really well. I'm doing pretty good too. So today I will be basically re reviewing uh, a fragrance from uh, Albert Aldimashki, and that's gonna be YSL YEDP version of it. So let's get started. The box itself as you guys can see the box uh, looks like this this is kind of an older presentation uh, the newer presentations are going to be slightly different um, similar to I guess uh, this one oh, I guess it's, it will be similar to this one the newer presentations are a bit bit are a bit different but this is how the older one looks uh, as you guys can see logo at the front uh, at the sides nice uh, detailing and stuff like that as you guys can see and at the back uh, you're gonna get that YEDP stuff like that and everything um, yeah that's mostly it and inside of the box there's not too much to it a black a black you know a black colored sleeve you could say and that's mostly it so not much uh, to talk about the box itself to be honest now let's get to the bottle the bottle kind of looks like um, like all those regular Albital Dimashki bottles as you guys can already see I hope so uh, the bottle itself is a bit different in terms of color uh, usually I'll buy bottles uh, of uh, this line are usually blue in color but some of uh, but some of them have like you know a gradient sort of it like you know black to brown sort of gradient kind of bottle which which also is it's pretty nice uh, the the metal plaque is in the front as you guys can see with their logo uh, nothing much in the front and at the back the name of the fragrance is written uh, YEDP as you guys can see uh, it's written over there and uh, yeah the cap has some nice detailing to it which is yeah quite nice uh, and the cap is you know plasticky it's plastic it's 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 lightweight it's okay for the price and uh, as you guys can see the sprayer is all black usually uh, the blue bottles have a golden sprayer but it's 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 a bit different coloration so if you if you get this sort of coloration don't be afraid it's not fake uh, it's just like you could say the bottle color is just different but everything is the same uh, now how the cap the cap doesn't click onto place it has a basically a slide on mechanism which is okay it does you know hold on to place even if I pick it up with a cap but I would never recommend you to do so so yeah there goes that now coming to the sprayer oh this smells really nice as you guys can see it shoots a decent amount of juice um, it's not pressurized but it's okay it's okay uh, however whoa now let's get to the smell uh, the smell is really good uh, especially the Y DNA uh, it's uh, it's uh, you know very what do you call it uh, it's very nice it's very attractive sort of DNA it's not like your um, what do you call it like daily wear like you know just like you find it with like you know fierce DNA or sauvage DNA or you could say you know uh, Sauvage DNA as well, um, Dylan Blue type of DNA, or even you could say like you know other like you know generic blue fragrances, you know Podo and stuff. It's 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 not as generic like that. It's a, it's a, it's it's a bit different. It's a bit attractive. Uh, it's not it, it's not blue, in any sort of way. It's not aquatic in any sort of way. It's basically fruity sweet. So if you like fruity sweet fragrances, you're definitely gonna like this. So. If I have to compare, um, like, if you like sort of Erba Pura kind of fragrances, I think you'll like this, even if you haven't ever smelled it. Erba Pura or like uh, Al Haramain Gold Edition, if you if you like those kind of fragrances, the opening of those kind of fragrance, fragrances, really fruity sweet, uh, you're definitely going to like this one too. Uh, that's what I can tell you for sure. So let's get to how this smells like. Right off the bat, you're going to get that juicy juicy note of apple that you get in Y so Y yep that 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 big green juicy apple very fruity and uh, slightly sweet as well apple you're gonna get from the start and then uh, yeah it's it's yeah as I said it, 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 in the opening you're mostly gonna smell apple apple sweet sweet green apple and then as it goes into the dry down there is gonna be some lavender added to the mix uh, a bit of sage we could say uh, some aromatic touches here and there but the apple note just hold on to that uh, the apple will stay from the start to 
from the dry down it's just that you could say the uh, just a bit uh, like juiciness of the apple will tone down a bit uh, in the dry down so yeah in the mid some aromatics will basically uh, get joined with the apple and uh, <clears throat> the aromatics it doesn't stay for that long it kind of you know slightly fades away basically the sage and stuff like that geranium those those fade away really really fast uh, but apple gets tied up with some a bit of lavender the lavender kind of you know kind of stays it, uh, it kind of stays not as prominent but it kind of stays and then uh, the more it goes into the dry down you're gonna get that super sweet like you know almost uh, you could say borderline borderline vanilla I would say sort of borderline vanilla but it's not like borderline vanilla it's more like the smell of amber wood um, so amber wood is just smells uh, just really sweet almost you could say um, a bit like sugary sweet you could say that yes so at the base you're gonna get some like also hints of um, slight hints of tonka bean as well that's what I that's what I felt like from this fragrance from Albert's one so yeah that amber wood slight hints of tonka bean and uh, that uh, a, a generic I wouldn't say generic or I could say you could say uh, like a normal woody kind of a base structure although the woody base you won't get that too much over here but it's mostly you could say uh, an overall amber wood apple based kind of a fragrance so yeah that's what uh, YSLY uh, kind of smells like uh, it's as I said it's very attractive it's fruity sweet uh, not uh, should I say fresh fresh and you could say you could say as like you know it's 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 apple right and it's a very fruity uplifting sort of apple so you could say it's fresh in a way and uh, so yeah and uh, if I have to compare uh, the type of smell how it smells like it smells like an expensive very expensive like shower gel type now I mentioned very expensive shower gel type and then it's not aquatic it's not it's not that fresh it's mostly fruity sweet right it basically smells like a very expensive shower gel as I just mentioned so yeah it's sort of like you could say as it so yeah it, it is what it is right um, and now coming to the versatility of things where you can wear I think if you uh, if you dress it up um, in um, situations like um, during the office or during dates as well I mean this would work very good on dates uh, you know out, out for some movies hangouts with friends you know if you could just dress it up a bit this this will work wonders I mean and the one thing that I really have to say about YSL DNA is for some weird reason for some weird reason the ladies reactions are really nice on this one I mean it's a YSL fragrance right so it is what it is however I have to say one thing uh, is that Albait Al Dimashki this house is very very notorious when it comes to making YSL clones I don't know for what reason Whenever they, uh, like, you can rely on them when it's coming to, you know, YSL fragrances in terms of cloning them. Actually rely on them. They are really good in terms of making YSL clones. I think uh, probably they got, like, YSL Y, YSL Loam. YSL Loam is very good. YSL La Nuit de Lome, which is, like, one of the best, one of the, if not the best clone of YSL and La Nuit de Lome uh, out there in the market longevity smell and everything um there are other clones as well from the from this from YSL house myself I haven't I haven't tried myself yet uh, so yeah we'll have to see on that uh, so overall they they got a bunch of uh, YSL clones and most of them are like the the ones I've sniffed uh, or have they're really good uh, so yeah uh, that was that now coming to the performance side of things uh, in terms of performance uh, it it, it I think it to me it kind of varied varied in a way that if I were in if I actually were in in a slight cooler environment I kind of got like a good push from it but when the environment was really sticky humid kind of you know just it was a bit less let's just say that uh, so if I have to give you numbers uh, let's say in a, in a in a in a in a mild weather right in a mild weather just like you know slightly cool and stuff like that it kind of projected around around the two hours mark and I usually go around like 12 to 14 sprays on this one on my all on my shirt on skin it might vary from people to people but on my shirt like 12 to 14 sprays 10 to 12 sprays like uh, two sprays on one uh, one spot 
and I usually wear you know dark colored clothes so for me like you know getting the big big old spots and stuff like that like no that's that's not that's not an issue with me so yeah and uh, there's that and uh, as I said the projection was around for two hours uh, for the first hour or you could say for the first 50 yeah 50 minutes 50 minutes to an hour I would say it kind of does project like about like I would say four to five feet that much and then the next hour it kind of you know closes off to just around two feet and uh, yeah that's about it um, and then till I guess f uh, was it five hour or four and a half let's just say four and a half by the uh, by the four and uh, by the four and a half hour mark uh, it, the smell would you know really be close to you right and then it kind of goes on and goes on and on and on in your clothes uh, so in terms of longevity I got around on my clothes I got around nine hours kind of unfortunate kind of unfortunate uh, I, I thought it would go a bit more but I kind of got nine hours on my clothes at least better than uh, the YEDP the original one the original one I got only five hours on my clothes which is just below average not just below average which is really really bad in terms of projection I got only 20 minutes of it which is I don't know what what's what's wrong with that YEDP it does it just doesn't work in in clothes I'm not talking about skin uh, so it's just it's just really bad but the smell is really good uh, so in terms of uh, like buying the clone itself I think uh, in terms of fi uh, like financial like financial wise I think I've made a pretty good decision not to go with the original YDP rather than opting for uh, the clone the clone itself so yeah longevity nine hours sort of a just a bit tad bit disappointed because you know uh, the other summer fragrances that they have usually blue de Chanel uh, that they have usually you know last lasts me throughout the day if not uh, the next morning I can I can you know uh, get whiffs from my shirt and uh, then they have you know the the Profumo Aquarius Profumo Profondo even the Lobo Lobo uh, lasted for quite some time um, and even like the other ones like uh, kind of for, I'm forgetting names like light light blue forever the ones that I have uh, Bacento uh, those kind of really really lasted but this one kind of in terms of longevity I I, I kind of think it's just it is what it is um, can't uh, can't really complain uh, but in terms of smell it, it it does the job it does the job for me even like if, if a fragrance lasts nine hours on my clothes I think for me I think it's fine it's fine for me because it kind of gets the job done even though I'm saying it's kind of underwhelming in terms of the number of sprays that I do uh, just a tad bit underwhelming not too much so yeah it is what it is um, so yeah, in terms of uh, yeah the versatility as I said, as I just mentioned uh, before, uh, probably most of uh, probably everywhere you could wear this. Uh, in terms of versatility, just just I think if you are if you dress a bit up class, just uh, you know just you know just just put on a shirt, nice shirt and stuff like that. I think this would smell even better on uh, on on a person like that. So yeah, that was it for the review. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. So, uh, like, I will be doing another review on another YSL clone. So, I'll move forward on to that one. So, till then, uh, take care then. Uh, take care, guys. So, we'll see you on the next one then. Bye-bye, guys.